day is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. There are so many of you and you guys are killing it right now, especially in this time of quarantine. Your kids are home, probably annoying. You guys are the bomb. Thank you so much. And I think that this opportunity to have Mother's Day in the middle of quarantine is a really good thing because it helps us remember all the things that our mothers do for us. And honestly, I just want to say thank you to all of the mothers out there, especially my mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you've done for all of us, um, for being a mother for the last almost 22 years. From when we were kids, prepping all the school lessons, keeping us on track, giving us things to do, um, helping us fulfill all the learning outcomes, which I can imagine would not have been easy to homeschool four kids at the same time. Like, guys, four kids. And she homeschooled all of them. What? <laughs> I can't even like, man, that's goals. Um, but yeah, thank you for all of the special Saturday morning breakfasts that you always made. Thank you for always making us feel special on our birthdays and Christmas and everything. Um, thank you for always being there to listen and being, I'd say basically my best friend for my whole life because I just, whenever I need to verbally process, I come to you and thank you for listening to me. Thank you for pushing me to be the best person I can be and encouraging me in my faith and encouraging me to step out of my comfort zone and do the things that are scary but that I feel called to um, for encouraging me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have done for all of us over the last many years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I hope one day to be as good a mother to my children as you are to me. Secondly, I wanna do a huge shout out to the other women in my life who have been like, I guess, spiritual mothers to me um, over um, the course of my life and also just over the past year. Um, people like, well, my grandma, um, people like, my uh, Sunday school teacher from when I was in high school, Mrs. McKenzie, people like um, from over the last year, like Jordan and uh, Karina and Anne and Kristen, you guys all are incredible and I wanna thank you so much for all that you've done to encourage me spiritually um, in my walk with God um, and just push me towards being able to achieve the best that I can. I encourage you guys to reach out and do something like this for your mom and for those women who have impacted your life. Um, whether they are your biological mother or whether they are your spiritual mother or however they fit into your life. Um, I don't know, just send them a message, call them, send them a video something just do something to thank them for what they have done in your life call her send her a video message write her a card do something um for your mom to make her feel special maybe something even above and beyond what you normally do on a mother's day yeah that's pretty much what i have for you today and i hope you guys all have an amazing mother's day it's beautiful weather here so I hope that if you're in the Lower Mainland that you take today to enjoy that with your family um, or whoever you're quarantining with. But don't forget your mother and all that she's done for you. I just hope that you guys have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I will see you all next week. Bye guys. Peace. Well, this is crazy. I'm so nostalgic. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. But I don't know what to tell you. Anyone want to see my quarantine haircut? Yeah. My mom did it herself. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Of course I have to film this several times because I don't know what I'm doing. I should probably script these. That would be a really good idea. Yeah. 22 years. Man, that's a long time to be a mom. <laughs> um, yes. You're not that old, it's okay. You still look like you're 22, okay? We'll just say that. 
and someone just turned on the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> ah, this always happens when I'm filming. 